Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Classic and today we are back out on Bush Rangers Run because the Axis here just got their first update and they added a lot of really cool things to them. First of all, we can now do missions for the Axis deer, so that's what we're going to be doing today. But they also added some brand new fur types for them. Piebald is one of them, along with the dark and orange uncommon fur types, so that is going to be pretty awesome. And I also decided to pick up a new rifle, as you guys can see, I picked up the 30R over and under in the premium version of it because I was looking at this thing and it just looks so beautiful and I've kind of been wanting to get some of the premium variants of the rifles I've been using just the normal ones for the longest time and I figured since I have pretty much nothing else to buy in the game I might as well start working on getting all of these but the very first mission that we have is actually a pretty easy one we just have to find ourselves three different tracks from Axis Deer and I don't think it really matters what tracks we end up finding. And looking back at the mission, I think it's actually finding a track from three different Axis Deer, which still isn't that difficult, but uh, it is a uh, interesting way to start the missions out. Typically, it's something even easier than that, so it looks like the Axis Deer missions aren't going to start out in as easy of fashion as what they typically would, but... It's still not going to be that difficult to do. I mean, three axis deer is going to be pretty easy to find. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got over here. It doesn't really seem like anything too crazy. There's a few uh, feral hogs up here, and then we also got ourselves a feral goat, but none of them are anything crazy, so we'll probably just move past them and start looking for some axis deer. That is an axis deer up there, but I can't tell if it's a buck or a doe. Uh, there's a goat as well, but I'm more interested in the axis here. It does look to be just a female, but there is a new fur type that's exclusive to the female axis deer, so we might want to take this down as well. So basically what they've done is the dark fur variation is going to be male only, and the orange fur variation is going to be female only. Very similar to how it is in Call of the Wild, uh, so I think the axis deer are now identical to Call of the Wilds when it comes to different fur types. They've got them on par with the same amount of fur types along with what uh, genders of deer can actually have them. And I think we are probably about to complete the very first mission. I believe that was three different axis deer I just grabbed a track from. Uh, not 100% positive, but I'm almost certain that it was because I never saw the same group of tracks highlight twice yeah there we go we just completed it so let's see what mission number two requires us to do so mission number two just requires us to uh, pick up some droppings from an axis deer spot an axis deer and then harvest an axis deer so that's not going to be too difficult at all let's just go back here and pick up the droppings because there should be some right here so that is part one of that mission completed now we just need to spot an axis deer and then take one of them down. Well, it looks like we have finally found some Axis Deer, and there's actually a pretty decent one in there. I'd say this is a good way to start the day off. Unfortunately, it is not one of the new fur types, so that's a bit unfortunate, but at least it's a decent Axis Deer, and we're not starting off with something incredibly tiny. So now we just need to take one out, and we will have completed the second mission. Uh, we need to spot this other one right here, and then also the doe if we can, because I do want to make sure we spot everything. That way we can level up our spotting skill. I'd like to get it high enough to where I've got a little bit more accurate uh, idea of what their score could be. So, uh, yeah, we'll try to do that as much as we can. Let's go ahead and take the very first shot with our brand new rifle. I have used the other 30R over and under, but this is going to be the first shot with the premium variant of it, and I do think this rifle looks so much better, so let's go ahead and take a shot on this guy, and that is a dead axis deer. Let's see if we can get the other one, and I'm not entirely sure if we did hit that. I was having trouble getting aimed on him, being prone and all, but... I think we might have hit it. It's so hard to tell. We at least got the first one, and that's the one that mattered. This is honestly a great way to start the hunt off, because so many times in the recent uh, recent past, we've had so many very small axis deer 
back to back to back to start hunts off and it's nice to at least get a half decent one let's uh go ahead and get a trophy shot of this guy just in case we don't find anything better throughout the rest of the hunt but yeah that's a decent one to start out with definitely not too bad and we ended up completing the mission with it as well so that makes it even better let's go ahead and set up for this trophy shot i think we will go with probably this so that we can kind of show off the brand new rifle unfortunately the rifle slightly clips into the ground but I mean it's whatever it's not that big of a deal we'll just go with that right there I think it looks pretty decent not too bad at all so let's see what the next mission is so apparently it did not count the fact that I had picked up those droppings right after we accepted the mission I guess maybe I picked them up too quickly after accepting it but that right there should actually complete it. I didn't even realize that we hadn't fully completed the mission. I thought that we did just by uh, taking that axis deer down, but unfortunately it didn't count uh, us picking up the droppings, but I think it did this time. I hope at least. I haven't seen anything pop up, so I'm kind of second guessing. There we go. Finally, it says that we completed it. So on to mission number three. So this next mission is just to harvest a male and female axis deer, which honestly that should be the easiest one that we have done so far. Don't see any reason why that wouldn't be at least uh, somewhat easy. And in fact that is a female axis deer right there. I believe that is the one that we spooked off. It definitely looks to be spooked. So let's just go up to uh, the top of this little hill right here. And see if we can get a shot on her and hopefully the male as well. I'm not 100% sure where it went, but if it's near, we'll take it out as well. So after scanning the area, there's not really anything else around here. So let's go ahead and take this little doe out if we can. And just like that, she is down. Now I do want to look around and see if maybe that buck is also going to run out because it would be nice to take him out as well and that actually looked like a bigger buck. So we'll go chase that guy down next. Alright, there is our little Axis Doe. She did not go anywhere at all. Go ahead and grab her. We actually got spine on that shot. But uh, let's go ahead and move on and try to get that buck. Then we should have mission 3 completed. Wait a second! Wait a second, what is that? Is that... Oh my gosh, that's one of the Dark Axis deer! That's so cool! Okay, that actually looks really amazing. I was expecting it to be very similar to the Call of the Wild ones, but that actually looks phenomenal! I am impressed with that. That is a beautiful Axis deer. And just like that, we got it down. Uh, let's see if we can maybe get the other one as well. I don't know where it's going to go, but... Yeah, we're definitely not going to get the other one. But man, that looks amazing. I'm really excited to look at this thing up close. Okay, this might honestly be one of the nicest looking fur types for any species in the Hunter Classic. I love the way that looks. And we actually got it on a pretty decent sized Axis buck, so that makes it even better. This could be like a 180s buck, I believe. Uh, no, I, I guess I was completely wrong, but still pretty awesome. I love the way these look. That is so cool. Let's see if we can get ourselves a good trophy shot pose. That is an absolutely beautiful axis steer. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't get it to position any better than this, but I think that's good enough. It shows off the fur pretty well, and man, that is absolutely beautiful. I really look forward to getting a big one of these with this dark fur type. I think that would be really cool to get a 200 plus with this fur. Although I'm assuming it's going to be pretty difficult, but man, that looks so cool. Huge fan of that. So our next mission is actually one that we could have completed with that last deer. The mission is to get a 130 plus scoring axis deer. So hopefully we can find another decent sized one. I mean, we just took out a 137. Which would have been perfect for it, but unfortunately, we got it one mission too early. But let's just hope that it's not going to be too difficult to find another one. So we've actually got a few different axes here in front of us. Unfortunately, none of them look to be big enough to complete this mission. The biggest one is this guy right here, and that's probably not even 100 scoring. 
I'd be very surprised if it broke 100. And then we also got this spike over here and then a doe. So none of these are really going to complete it. Therefore, I'm not going to worry about taking them out with the rifle. Let's just go ahead and bow all of these if we can. So unfortunately, I think these guys are going to be very close to each other when they finally are visible. Uh, they're all kind of like behind the dip right here, but I think the two bucks are going to be excessively close, which is not good. It's going to make it very difficult to kill one without spooking the other, but uh, we will give it our best shot. It uh, looks like the smaller one's actually peeking over now. Let's see if we can get a look at him. Yeah, we can barely see his head, but that is the smaller of the two. And, oh, the second one's actually a little bit farther back than I thought, so this actually will work out. Provided we don't mess this shot up, this should work out pretty well. So let's go ahead and draw back on this guy. Hopefully we're at a good enough angle to where we won't mess this up. And that should be good right there. Now let's just wait for this other buck. At the very least, at least we are getting down a lot of axis deer, including our very first dark fur type. And that hit a little bit far back compared to where I wanted it to. Unfortunately, the axis deer are a little bit smaller than a normal deer, so it is easier to mess those shots up, but we did unfortunately screw that one up. I held a little bit too far to the left, but this one right here, I believe we got pretty much every organ on. Well, we finally caught up to our wounded Axis Deer, and honestly, when we look at him from this angle, it really looks like that should have gone into the lung, but unfortunately, it just hit intestine and stomach, which is not ideal at all. And this one ends up scoring an 82, so about 50 points below what we're looking for. So hopefully we can find a decent sized Axis Deer. There actually should be one more alive that we missed out on that would break that 130 mark most likely. Uh, problem is, I don't know where it is now. It could be anywhere. Alright, so as much as I'd like to continue searching for some access deer and completing these missions, I do have to get this video out within the next couple hours, so we're gonna have to go ahead and end it. I hope you all enjoyed. If you are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below with what you guys would like to see me do next in Classic. And if we can get this video to 200 likes, then I will do whatever is the most popular request in a video. But yeah, with that being said, Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!